Hello, today we're going to take a look at patching fixtures and the various tools available to assist you in ESA Pro 2. To begin, we need to make sure we have the SSL library installed. This comes with your version of ESA Pro 2, but the option is unchecked during installation for memory saving purposes. But this library contains profiles of over 25,000 different fixtures. ESA Pro 2 launches to the Builder tab of the Editor screen. This is where all the patching takes place. The fixtures available to patch appear on the right side of the window. We'll look at generic fixtures first. These are suitable when patching simple fixtures, such as single channels, RGBs, RGBWs, etc. When you select a single channel or coloured fixture, the following screen will appear. Here, you can change how the fixture appears in the workspace, the number of fixtures you wish to patch, their names, and their index. When patching a coloured light, you'll also have the option to set the type of fixture. By default, you can patch RGB, RGBW, W, and WWCW fixtures. If you press the Custom option, you'll call up a basic profile builder. Using this, you can create a custom, albeit basic, profile by deleting channels, rearranging them, or adding new channels from the dropdown. When you press the OK button, with the patch window open automatically box checked, the patch window will appear. This is where patching actually takes place. Unpatched fixtures will appear in a column on the left side of the window. Beneath your unpatched fixtures are options to select which universe and address you want to patch to. Once these are selected, you can either press patch, which will patch the fixture you have selected at the first address you set, or use automatic patch to patch any fixtures to the next available address in the universe you have selected. You can use the inverted checkbox to patch fixtures in reverse index order. You can add, remove, or select the universe you're in using the column to the right using the plus and bin icons. You can change a fixture address by dragging and dropping it, or you can unpatch by right clicking on the desired fixture. Once you're happy with how your fixtures are patched, press OK to close the window. You can use the strip fixture to create flexible LED strips in the software. You can dictate how many pixels are in the strip and also select which channel order you require. The matrix option assists you in creating matrices by patching all of the required fixtures in one go. You can dictate fixture channels, height, width, and how the matrix is sorted. When you actually patch matrices and strips, they'll be treated as a single fixture in the patch window. Therefore, a single matrix or strip cannot exceed 512 channels. The other folder will open the SSL library. This allows you to find and import a light from our library of over 25,000 profiles. If you can't find the profile you require, then you can submit a request for our team to create a profile for you by visiting the link in the description. Depending on the fixture you import, you may have a new field appear called Mode. This ensures your patching matches the operating mode of your fixture. The mode on the light and the mode in the software should match. The Relay option gives you the possibility to patch an external electrical relay to your show, but this is only available with select devices. Refer to the datasheet for your device if you're unsure whether you have this functionality. Relays take up one channel in a DMX universe, but also require a little bit of extra setup. This will be covered in a separate tutorial dedicated to relays. You can also patch DALI gears, but these also require additional setup, so they'll be covered in a separate tutorial. Thanks for checking out this ESA Pro 2 tutorial. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorials on the channel.